The Lockheed XFV-1 Salmon is an American experimental tail-sitter prototype aircraft developed by Lockheed in the early 1950s to demonstrate vertical takeoff and landing capabilities for protecting convoys. The project originated from a 1948 United States Navy proposal for a vertical takeoff and landing aircraft capable of operating from platforms on conventional ships. Lockheed and Convair competed for the contract, which was revised in 1950 to require a research aircraft that could evolve into a vertical takeoff and landing ship-based convoy escort fighter. On April 19, 1951, Lockheed was awarded a contract to build two prototypes under the designation XFO-1, later changed to XFV-1. The XFV-1 was powered by a 5,332-horsepower Allison YT-40A6 turboprop engine driving three-bladed contra-rotating propellers. The aircraft featured a reflected cruciform V-tail and a makeshift fixed landing gear, earning it the derisive nickname Pogo Stick among Lockheed employees. Flight testing began with a temporary non-retractable undercarriage attached to the fuselage. On December 22, 1953, during ground testing at Edwards Air Force Base, Lockheed Chief Test Pilot Herman Fish Salmon briefly hopped the aircraft. The official first flight occurred on June 16, 1954. Full vertical takeoff and landing testing was delayed due to the unavailability of the 7th 100 shaft horsepower Allison T-54 engine. The XFV-1 made 32 flights, including transitions from conventional to vertical flight and back, but never achieved vertical takeoffs or landings. The project was canceled in June 1955 due to performance limitations and pilot difficulties. The XFV-1 had two prototypes built, with one flown. The proposed production version, FV-2, was to be powered by the T-54A-16 turboprop, incorporating armor, radar, and four 20mm cannons or 48 rockets. The single flying prototype is now an exhibit at the Sun and Fun Campus Museum in Lakeland, Florida, marked as 658. The second, uncompleted prototype is at Los Alamitos Army Airfield in California. The XFV-1 represented a brief but notable episode in aviation history driven by the military's desire to eliminate the need for runways. Despite its limitations, the XFV-1 contributed to the development of vertical takeoff and landing technology and remains a fascinating example of innovative aircraft design.